Hi, I'm just taking some time out to do a, a little review of this um, microphone um, that I've bought. It's a, a USB studio condenser mic by a Chinese company that you may or may not have heard of um, called Kamiz. Um, they actually make musical instruments like ukuleles and um, I, I have a banjolele of theirs which I really like. Um, I've joined their uh, sort of beta testing program and I'm trying this out and I have to say actually um, my first impressions are it's it's really quite good. I'm, I'm going to give you some sound samples from it at the end of this review and compare it with two other microphones that I've used in the past. Um, one is this Zoom H1. Now this is uh, an older one. You can still get it but there is a newer version available. And the other microphone I'm going to be comparing it to is this Samson. Um, it's a Samson USB microphone, it's the C01U. Now both of those microphones, I think they sell for about £70 plus. This, I think, was between £20 and £30, okay? Now you'd think that there would be no comparison, but um, as you'll hear from the sound samples, you'd be wrong. So the first thing that uh, you I notice with this microphone is the installation process um, on Windows 10 took just seconds. It literally installed, it was there, ready to work straight away, and, and it was fine. Now the microphone, it comes with a USB lead. Um, it's a fairly short one, it's just about 1.3 metres. I guess if I was being really picky, um, two to two or to three metres would kind of be a bit more useful for somebody like a studio musician. Um, but this is really aimed at sort of um, working on a desk, broadcasting, recording for uh, YouTube blogs, that kind of thing. Um, I, I guess. Um, it does come with a desk stand and uh, a little adapter to fit to the desk stand or in fact to um, other stands that you may have that have the same thread on there. And it also comes handily with a wind shield. So I guess that means you could plug it into your laptop or whatever, take it outside. Um, with my Zoom microphone, the stand, the USB uh, lead and the windshield, those were all optional extras that cost a considerable amount of money to have on top. So that's already a plus. So getting back to the microphone. This microphone, it's got uh, three controls on it. I'll come back to the, the top one in, in a minute. Um, this one is the volume control. Um, I just have that set permanently to maximum in, in my trials. There's a mute button, which is really handy. So if say you're in the middle of recording or uh, broadcasting something or streaming something, you feel a sneeze coming on, you can press the mute button and sneeze um, and that'll be fine. Uh, now this top button here, this is titled Echo. Now, when it came out of the packet, that was set round to maximum. I plugged it in, I started to speak, and there was this horrible um, echo, like I was standing in the biggest cave in the world. And then I realised it's the echo button. Turn the echo back to um, zero, where it is now, and it was absolutely fine. Um, but then that made me think, hang on, this is actually quite a clever little feature, because when I'm recording, say, my uh, whistle music for my YouTube videos, if I tweak that up ever such a tiny bit, you get kind of like a, a fake reverberation. Um, it's really a delay, I suppose, but it really sounds quite nice. And to be able to control that on the microphone before I do any kind of processing is really quite useful. The other thing that is very handy with this is it has um, a built-in microphone, uh, microphone, headphone, uh, socket on on the actual microphone itself so you can hear what the microphone is hearing before it's being processed in the computer or before it goes through any other software or whatever um, so that was that now the microphone itself it's a condenser microphone with a cardioid pattern for those in the know um, I found that the, the cardioid pattern is supposed to be heart-shaped, hence cardioid, and is supposed to be more focused towards the front. Um, I found as, I don't know whether you'll hear on the, the, the sound samples, but I had, my, I had my 
a microphone about here about a, a foot away and it was picking up a little bit the clock on the wall behind uh, behind me but I'm recording in my dining room so it's not the most ideal recording situation so you get a little bit of natural room echo from rec recording in a normal room um, but again you'll hear from the samples that from from about this sort of distance I, I guess it was there's a little bit of room echo but once you get closer that disappears the truly astonishing thing with this is that you can record at this distance about an inch and I gave it a full pop test, Mary, oh, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, and there was no pop at all on there. I hadn't, there's no pop shield on this and I didn't have the windshield on. Now with the other two mics you will hear they were both a disaster. So in fact if you are recording for blogging or something like that um, you could basically have this on the desk at this distance and you'll pick up the sound perfectly. So um, yeah so that's my first impressions. It's really good. I'm going to be trying to use it um, in the future for some of my uh, music videos and see how that, that compares with um, the other microphones that I've used in the past. Um, I think it's pretty good and for the money that you're getting, you're getting the equivalent of maybe a 70 to 100 pound microphone for a quarter or a third of the price. I mean it's pretty pretty good really. Um, you're not going to lose a lot of money if you want to try it out and give it a go or if you're on a budget uh, and you want to get professional level um, uh, microphone recording then you could give it a try it's just called the Kamiz studio microphone uh, Kamiz USB studio microphone if you put those things into Amazon or your favorite online shopping place you will find it there so Kamiz K-M-I-S-E USB studio microphone um, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with it okay The birch canoe slid on the smooth planks. Glue the sheet to the dark blue background. It's easy to tell the depth of a well. These days a chicken leg is a rare dish. The birch canoe slid on the smooth planks. Glue the sheet to the dark blue background. It's easy to tell the depth of a well. These days a chicken leg is a rare dish. The birch canoe slid on the smooth planks. Glue the sheet to the dark blue background. It's easy to tell the depth of a well. These days a chicken leg is a rare dish. The boy was there when the sun rose. A rod is used to catch pink salmon. The source of the huge river is the clear spring. Kick the ball straight and follow through. The boy was there when the sun rose. A rod is used to catch pink salmon. The source of the huge river is the clear spring. Kick the ball straight and follow through. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? The birch canoe slid on the smooth planks. The boy was there when the sun rose. Kick the ball straight and follow through. Help the woman get back to her feet. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? The birch canoe slid on the smooth planks. The boy was there when the sun rose. Kick the ball straight and follow through. Help the woman get back to her feet. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? The boy was there when the sun rose. A rod is used to catch pink salmon. The source of the huge river is the clear spring. Help the woman get back to her feet.